Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over how to create this AI music agent that generates and uploads music playlist style videos. This is a good example. So this one is some lo-fi hip hop, but you can adjust the agent to generate any music genre you like. And if you can already tell, the background to this video is also AI generated. And that is exactly what our agent will do as well. The agent actually takes care of everything from generating the song ideas to editing and posting the final video to YouTube. And there are no coding skills required in this tutorial as make.com is a no-code platform. So if you don't already have a make.com account yet, then check out the link in the description to create one. By the way, all the resources such as the links, prompts and references and the ready to use blueprints will be in the description of this tutorial in our community. So you can just go ahead and download the blueprint and import it straight into your make.com. So if you want to check it out, the link to our community will be in the description. With that said, let's go over the framework for this lesson. First, we will generate some song ideas using ChatGPT, which will then be saved inside this Google Sheets template, which keeps track of everything. And then the actual AI music agent will take over the rest. It will select free song ideas from our Google Sheets template and send those over to Sooner AI. And because Sooner AI actually generates two songs per prompt, it will return a total of six AI generated songs at a time. Once those songs are ready, the second part of the agent then takes all the audio files and uploads them to a Dropbox folder. It then generates a background image using AI that's related to the song that looks something like this. It then combines that background image with all the audio files using an app called Create Omate. This puts everything together into a complete video ready to be posted. The final step is generating a YouTube description with hashtags using ChatGPT. Once that's done, the AI music agent uploads the final video to your YouTube channel, making the whole process run on its own from start to finish. So now that we have a clear plan on what to do, let's get started with actually setting up the agent. So first, we obviously need the song ideas. So for the idea generation, we are going to use ChatGPT, or you can use an app called Quen AI. Now, Quen AI is similar to ChatGPT in many ways, and some people even argue that it's better, but that really comes down to your personal preference. For this tutorial though, I'll be using Quen AI. So once you've made your decision, you can head over to the description of this tutorial, and if you scroll down, you'll find the ChatGPT or Quen AI prompt. Just simply copy and paste the prompt into here. So this prompt will generate us some song ideas, all you have to do is change this genre to whatever style of music you want. So for this example, I'm going to pick lo-fi. Then just click send message. And after all of your prompts have finished generating, you can just head over to the top right and press export to CSV. You can then just import that CSV file to this template right here by pressing file, import, click the append to current sheet option and then press import data. And then it should import all of your generated prompts into the Google Sheet. So if you want to make a copy of this Google Sheets template, you can head over to the description again and just click this link here. Now that we have our prompts in a Google Sheets template, we can now start with the first part of the agent, which sends the prompts to Sooner AI to generate the songs. So head over to make.com and create a new scenario. And the first module that we will be using is the Google Sheets module to extract all the prompts that were generated. So we can go into the Google Sheets module and click on search rows and then just input the spreadsheet id which is going to be called ai music prompts template and just put sheet one for the sheet name and the filter is going to be prompt status is equal to to do because if you head over to our google sheets template you will see that the prompt status for all of the rows is to do so what this is going to do is going to search through the whole Google Sheets template and find the first row that isn't done yet. And the limit is going to be one because we only want to return one result at a time. Then just click save. And next we want to send multiple requests to Suno AI. So we are going to need to grab the router from the flow control and create three routes. And our goal is to send prompt A, prompt B and prompt C at the same time to Suno AI to generate two songs from each prompt, which will result in six songs in total. So we are going to search for the HTTP module, make a request, and the method is going to be post. We're going to be doing a post request. So we do need a URL to send a request to Suno AI, and we can do this through a website called sunoapi.org. And this website gives us access to the Suno API so that we can send requests and receive AI generated songs. 
Now you can learn about the documentation yourself by heading over to the documentation page. But to make this easier, I've included everything you need for the post request in the description. So simply copy and paste the URL into the section. And the next thing that we need is authorization. And we can do this by heading back to the dashboard and going to the API key section and just copy your API key from here. So to actually include the authorization in the request, we need to add a header and this header is going to be called authorization. So in the value section, just write bearer and paste your API key here. So now that we have the authorization set up, we can test it out by right clicking and pressing run this module only. And if it returns this message, that means that the authorization was successful because if the authorization wasn't successful, it would return this message. You do not have access permissions. And now what's left to do is send the actual request. So for this, you need to set the body type as raw and then set the content type as JSON. And for the request content, you need to head over to the description again and copy this JSON code underneath the Suno AI post request and then simply paste it in here. And you are going to need to change some variables. So for the prompt, since this is the first HTTP request, it needs to be prompt A. And for the title, before the underscore, you need to select the title variable. And then after the underscore, you need to select the index variable. And for the callback URL, we need the second part of the agent. So we are going to leave that for now and press the save button. So now we have our first HTTP request. To speed things up, I'm going to clone this request twice. And then we can simply change some variables. So for the second request, it needs to be prompt B. And over here for the third request, it needs to be prompt C. And that is the first part of the agent done. It should now go through and select the row, then extract the three prompts from that row and generate six Suno AI songs in total because it's going to generate two songs per prompt. So just save the scenario and we can get started on the main agent. So the first module for the main agent is going to be the webhook module and it's going to be called custom webhook triggers when webhook receives data. So this will trigger when our song generations come through. So just press create a webhook and click save. And once you've made your webhook, you should get a unique address. So you are just going to press copy address to clipboard. After you've done that, just save the scenario because we are going to go back to the first part of the agent. And now that we have our webhook URL, we can go into the HTTP requests and where it says callback URL, you are just going to paste your webhook URL into this section and just do this for all the requests. So now that we can receive the song generations, we just need to extract the important data. And the most important piece of data that we need to extract is the audio URLs so that we can then download the audio files that Suno AI generated for us. And you can do this by adding the text parser module. And if you go to the bottom, you'll find the match pattern module. So this will allow us to find the URLs in the data so that then we can download the audio files. So you are going to head over to the description. And this pattern right here will find all of the audio URLs to the generated songs. So just paste that into the pattern section here. And where it says text, just put double curly brackets and then one or whatever the number of your webhook is and then dot value and then double curly brackets again. And this will get the value of the webhook and then just press save. And for the webhook module, we do need to do a couple more things to extract the data. So if you head over to your webhook and press edit and then press show advanced settings. And over here, it will say JSON pass through and click yes. And this will allow us to manipulate the data a bit easier. Once you've done that, just press save and then save. And the data receiving should be good now. And once we have those audio URLs extracted, we are going to put them inside of an array using an array aggregator. And the source module is just going to be the text parser. And we just need the audio URL and press save. We need to retrieve the index of the row so that we can get the song title and so that we can also update the prompt status to done once the video is done generating. Now there is no easy way to do this, so bear with me while I'm explaining this because it can sound a bit complicated. But what I did was I included the index in the song title. So in the logs, the song title will look something like this. It would be the title of the row and then underscore and the index of the row. And then when receiving the data in the second part of the agent, we can basically grab this title and extract the index of the row once we have the index of the row, we can use the title in the creating process and also update the status of the row to done. 
So let's extract the index from the song title. We are going to use a text parser again and the match pattern module and then head into the description again and copy and paste this code right here. So what this will do is extract the index in the song title and the text is going to be the same as the last one. So you can just copy and paste and press save. And I didn't mention this earlier, but you need to go to the first text parser and make sure the global match is set to yes so that it finds all the audio URLs and doesn't just stop at the first one that it finds and just press save. But not all of the requests that we receive from this webhook contain the final two audio URLs. For example, the first request that we get is a success message saying that we started generating the audio files. So we want to filter the requests and only get the request that contains both of the audio URLs. And we can do this by setting up a filter and checking if the second audio URL in the array exists. So you can just click save. Now that we extracted the index from the title, we can find the actual row by searching its index. So add a new module and head into Google Sheets. Then if you scroll down a bit, you'll find search rows and it will return results matching to the given criteria. And for the connection, all you have to do is just log into your Google account. You don't actually need an API key for this. So for the spreadsheet ID, just select the A1 AI Music Prompts template. And for the sheet name, just go with sheet one. Then we can actually do the filter. So the filter is going to be index A is equal to, and the result for the text parser that extracts the index, and then just hit save. So now that we have extracted all the data we need from the webhook, we can now move on to the actual video generating process. The first thing that we're going to do is actually save the audio files to a Dropbox folder. So we need to add a router module. And there should be two routes. So we're going to get the first audio file with a HTTP module called get a file. And because we extracted two audio URLs and we saved it to an array, you're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and add the audio URL variable in the array aggregator. So just select that. And we want to download the first file in the list. So the index is going to be one and then just press save. And then we are going to upload the file to Dropbox. For the connection, you just have to log into your Dropbox account. And for the folder, you are going to create a folder in Dropbox where you're going to store all the Suno generations. And for the file, just select the HTTP, get a file, and press save. Now just duplicate those two modules, and you can use it for downloading the second file. So just open it up and change the index to 2. And this will download the second file in the audio URL array. So now that we've uploaded all the audio files to a Dropbox folder, we can now create a share link for each audio file. And we can do this by listing out all the audio files underneath the audio folder. So click on the list all files in a folder. And for the folder, just select the folder that you uploaded all the audio files to and just hit save. Then we need to actually create the share links for each file. So just head over to the Dropbox module again and select the create a share link. Then select the file path as the path lower and set the link's access level to viewer. Then once you've done that, just press save. And now we can organize all the URLs into an array. So head over to the flow control and select array aggregator and set the source module as the list all files in a folder over here. And then we just need to include the download URL and hit save. And now that we have all the download URLs for each audio file, we can add the create o mate module and select the render from JSON. Now you are going to need an API key to establish a connection with create o mate. So let me show you how to do it. Head over to creatomate.com. The link will be in the description. And once you've created an account, then head over to the top left and you'll find three dots. Then head over to project settings and you will find your API key right here. Just click to reveal and copy that API key. Then just put your API key into this field and you should be able to authorize. Once you've created the connection, then we can move on to the actual JSON code that takes all the audio files and connects them together to create a playlist. And then it also generates a background image using AI. And for this, head over to the description and scroll down until you find the create o -mate JSON code. Simply copy and paste the code into the JSON input. And now we just need to change a couple variables. So you need to change the prompt for the image to the title of the song. And this will generate the image based on the style of the music. And for the six audio files, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just scroll down to your array and select the audio URL and set the index to one, 
to 6 as you go on until you have all of the audio variables replaced. And once that's done, just hit save. Now we're going to get the final video that Kratomate generated for us. And we can do this by searching for a module called HTTP, get a file, and then just set the URL to the URL variable, and then just press save. And now it would be a good idea to save that file to Dropbox so that we can just reuse it in the future if we want to. So just search for the Dropbox upload a file and select your audio files folder and then select the file HTTP get a file. And now we can generate a YouTube description using ChatGPT. So just go over to OpenAI, create a completion. And you'll also have to set up an API key for this like we did with Mates. So just head over to the OpenAI developer platform, link will be in the description and head over to the dashboard tab. And then you'll find an API key section in the left of your screen and go ahead and create a new secret key. Just enter the name and the project and you should get your API key. Once you have your API key, all you have to do is just paste it into the API key section and press save. And your OpenAI account should be connected. So once you've done that, you can now select the model. I'm going to use the GPT-40 system and add a message. And for the role, you can select developer slash system. And for the text content, you can head over to the description again and scroll down until you find the ChatGPT YT description prompt. Then just copy and paste that prompt into the section and just replace this variable with the row title, which is this, and then just hit save. Now that we have the description, we can upload the final video to YouTube. Go ahead and search up YouTube and press the upload a video option. You don't need an API key for the YouTube connection. So for the title, you can select the row title. For the file, it's going to be the HTTP getter file. For the video category, you can pick music. And for the privacy status, you can pick public. Now for the description, you can just press the result variable and that should be it. Just hit save. Now that we've created and uploaded the final video to YouTube, I'm going to update the prompt status for the row to done. So just add a module and we're going to search up for the Google Sheets module. And we're going to scroll down a bit until we find update a cell. And the spreadsheet ID will be the A1 AI music prompts template. The sheet name will be sheet one. And the cell will start with F because the prompt status is in the F column. And then we need the row number. So if we scroll down, we're going to find the row number variable. And the value is going to be done. And this should update the prompt status each time a new video is complete. So just hit save. And all that's left to do is delete the audio files since we've already generated and posted the video. And this is optional. So if you want to keep the audio files, you can. But to not get any issues with the old audio files being used in the new videos, I'm just going to delete them so that everything's organized. So you can do this by searching up the Dropbox list all files in a folder. And then for the folder, just select the audio files folder and press save. And to delete the audio files, we just need to head over to Dropbox again and scroll down until you find the delete a file slash folder. Then for the file folder or path, just select the path lower. And that should delete all the audio files once it's finished generating the video so that you don't run into any issues later on. And your agent is practically complete. If you wanted to customize the amount of songs that it generates at once, you can just clone another HTTP request and connect it to the router and then head into the main agent. And since we create four requests, it's four times two. So that's going to be eight audio files in total. So you're just going to duplicate this audio file code twice and then just change the six to seven and this six to eight and then press save and that way it's also going to generate the final video with eight sooner ai songs at this point you have an ai music agent that runs 24 7 generating and uploading music videos to grow your youtube channel and if you wanted to know what the end result looks like this is a full video that the agent generated automatically And if you found this tutorial helpful, then consider liking and subscribing for more automation guides. Let me know in the comments what automation you'd like to see next. And again, all the templates, blueprints and prompts will be in my community. The link will be in the description, so check it out if you want to set this up easily. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.